Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to my channel. I am Shanice Walker, your life coach and your motivational speaker. Y'all, before I get started, I wanna make a disclaimer. We are doing Car Chronicles today, as you can see, and I am outside and I got all of my babies outside with me. So if y'all hear a lot of noise or if y'all hear the noise of cars riding by or whatever, whatever, just know that I'm outside and it's a lot of stuff going on. So look, y'all, this is going to be a prophetic word and this word is for somebody. I know when God dropped it in my spirit, baby, it was the right thing at the right time. So um, I'm just going to get straight into it. Baby, your enemies, your enemies done done it. They done done it. God said it is it. It is enough. He has, he, they have exhausted each and everything that they, they, excuse me, y'all. They have exhausted each and every, um, each and everything that they could have. God said they've tried coming against you in so many different ways. God said he is sick of it. God is tired. God has had enough. God is not about to take it any longer. Look, don't be surprised when your enemies start dropping like flies. Don't be surprised when your when you look up and your enemies, you ain't heard nothing. Just be happy. Be happy. But God said there are some things that are to come to, because your enemies have done enough. God said you have sat back, you've prayed, you fasted, you've done everything you can to stay in his good graces. God said, and your enemies just don't know when they come against you, they coming against God. They coming against your heavenly staff. God said, they know not what they do. That's why he says, pray for your enemies. And right now, your enemies need all the prayer that they can get. Let me say it again. Your enemies need all the prayer that they can get right now. Because, baby, they have came against you. They've came against you so hard in so many different ways. And God said, you don't even feel the effects of it. He said, you you don't even feel the, the full effect of what they're doing because he has shielded you. He has covered you. But God said, your enemies, will they, they have continued to go on and on with their attacks even after he's told them, he's warned them. He's warned them on numerous occasions, stop, quit, don't continue. But they are hardened their hearts. They have hardened their hearts. They cannot hear God's voice. God said, your enemies have been turned turned over to a reprobate mind. God said he has had enough. He said enough is enough. He is not going to continue to allow your enemies to keep uh, poking at you and keep uh, prowling at you because all you've done was continue to stay steadfast. He said all you're doing is taking care of your responsibilities. All you're doing is going to work and trying to pay your bills. All you are doing is trying to keep your head above water. All you've been doing is leaning and depending on him and, and, and keeping your faith strong in him. God said, some of y'all ain't even worried about y'all enemies. Some of y'all are going throughout your day-to-day -day life and you're doing what you need to do for you and your kids and your enemies, instead of them worrying about what they need to be worried about, they are plotting and scheming and planning and plotting your demise. God said, enough is enough. He heard all the things that they said behind closed doors. He was there. He, he asked them, nicely to stop leave my child alone enough is enough so look fair warning your enemies it's really fishing to go down it's really fishing to go down because god said they continue to play with you not knowing that baby that's mine that's my child that's my child you know how it is whenever um hold on hold on baby one minute i'm recording you know how it is whenever um, somebody messes with your child, when somebody messes with your children and you turn into mama bear, you turn into papa bear, bear. God said, you know what? Now it is time for him to go be smoked for real. He showed grace upon them. He tried to get him uh, the benefit of the doubt. He tried to talk to them. God said they are now, they have now been turned over to a reprobate mind. They ha are now about to feel the wrath of him because he has begged them and pleaded with them to just stop 
to just stop and not do it any longer. But your enemies are have heart in their hearts. They cannot hear. They they are going against. They are going against everything that God has. Um, God has told them, and God said, "You know what? He will no longer sit back. He will no longer be um, giving them any more grace." Your enemies don't understand that you are chosen and God don't play about you. You are chosen and God has chosen you for a great work in this earth. And God said, whatever, what, whatever gift that he's placed on the inside of you, he will follow you. God said he will follow you. He will protect you because his word must come to pass. He said he will protect you. And if protecting you means going against your enemies and watching them fall, God said he has done everything that he can do. He has tried. He has tried. But you know what? When a person has been turned over to a reprobate mind and when the enemy has um, completely took over these people, because that's what it is. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and high and wicked places god said look let me tell you something your enemies know not they really know not but baby one thing i had to learn shanice quit looking at quit looking at the outer appearance quit looking at who these people really are because for a lot of these people you was in love with these people you slept with these people these people you you would get them the shirt off your back you fed them when they was hungry. You helped them pay their bills. You gave them money whenever they needed. You took care of them whenever they was down and out and they didn't have nobody. You took care of these people. It's crazy and it's sad. It's really sad that a person or people will really continue to keep going up against you and they know they know that you a child of god they know that each and every scheme each and every every uh plot that they've tried to come against you with god has been blocking it left to right and they know that and they still keep continuing to come against you god said and enough is enough he will not he will no longer continue to sit back and allow them god said a lot of this stuff a lot of this stuff that they have been doing to you you have not even felt it you haven't felt the effects of it because he has got you shielded he has got you covered they are now co coming up against him he said and look let me tell you something god is the god of god he is the lord of lords he is the alpha and the omega baby he is the beginning and the end <laughs> baby he is the great i am there is no other above him and god said enough is enough he will no longer continue to sit back and listen to some of the evil and foul things that these people are saying against you. He will no longer sit back and watch some of the evil plots that these people are trying to use to come up against you. Even though this stuff is not even phasing you, this stuff is not even touching you. What they doing is they causing the wrath of God to, to be up upon them even harder. But God said, this is the end. Enough is enough. Mm. And God dropped that in my spirit so heavy. And I said, I got to come up here and share it with y'all. I got to come up here because there is somebody right now that needs to hear this. Baby, your enemies, God said, enough is enough. No more. No more. No more will you see. You will no longer have to see. You will no longer have to deal with. Your enemies finna be put in the place that they deserve to be put in. Oh, excuse me. God said, my grace will no longer cover them. My grace will no longer shield them. God said, they have now been turned over. They have been turned over. Oh, and I hate to be the bearer of bad news. But some of these people, some of these people need this. Some of these people deserve this. Some of these people need to learn how to sit down and hush. Y'all, it's an ant on my window. Some of these people need to learn how to sit down for real. Like sit down. 
Y'all ain't, some of y'all ain't even studying these people. Some of y'all ain't even bit more worried about what they got going on or what, whatever. God said, y'all are going about minding y'all's own business, taking care of y'all's children, working, paying your bills, praying, staying faithful to him. And all the while your enemies are in the background while you're not even studying them. You're not even worried about them. Baby, they in the background trying to figure out what can they do next to try to bring you down? What can they do next? What kind of lies can they tell to smear your name? What kind of lies can they tell to make people look at you different? Make people look at you funny. God said enough is enough. If they didn't see then, they finna see now. Mm. God said if they did not, since they have not been able to see it, they finna get ready to see it. Mm, 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 mm. Look, y'all, I hope that you guys received that message. And I hope you guys are doing good on today. I hope and pray that everybody has a great weekend. And I love you. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.